Hello, you absolute legends. Back in January, con man of the century Billy Mitchell settled his defamation lawsuit against the video game record keeper Twin Galaxies. And since that time, I've been having an existential crisis. I mean, without the Billy Mitchell vs Twin Galaxies legal battle, what am I supposed to make videos on? I have built my entire channel around Billy Mitchell. My financial future was dependent on Billy getting destroyed in court so that I could make two videos a month making fun of him for the next 20 years. When the lawsuit settled out of court, my life was basically ruined. I thought I was going to have to quit YouTube and actually get a job. It's been rough, man. It's been really rough. But just as I was at my lowest point, as I was putting the finishing touches on my resume, a miracle happened. Billy returned. And Billy is pissed. Apparently Billy is really upset at Twin Galaxies and now he is taking even more legal action against them. Yes, the Billy and Twin Galaxies saga is still going. According to Billy, Twin Galaxies has breached the settlement agreement and Billy wants the court to intervene. On top of that, Billy is crying to the judge about me. Yes, me. According to Billy, there is a big conspiracy between me and Twin Galaxies to take him down. It is absolutely unhinged. What's really funny is that despite me having nothing to do with the Billy Mitchell and Twin Galaxies legal battle, Billy has been obsessively ranting about me in that lawsuit for almost a year. Billy sued Twin Galaxies for statements they made in 2018. This is years before I ever made my first video about Billy. It has absolutely nothing to do with me whatsoever. But Billy is a man-child who can't help himself but whinge and complain to the court whenever I talk about him. He is like a toddler who runs and cries to his mummy whenever another kid does something he doesn't like. It's pathetic. In today's video, we will take a look at Billy's most recent legal action against Twin Galaxies. I really hope you enjoy. Now legends, I hope you've been looking after yourselves. Yes, we are nerds, but we aren't those old cliche nerds that smell bad and have disgusting hair. We look good, we smell good, and women love us. And when it comes to looking and smelling good, you can't beat today's sponsor, Geology, the best in skin, hair, and body care. Personally, my skin is super oily, so I need to use Geology's everyday face wash or my face looks and feels gross. Plus, I use their nourishing eye cream because I have massive black eyes from not getting enough sleep. But if you have problems with acne or dry skin, Geology is perfect for that too. Plus, they have a whole range of products including body washes, deodorants, and hair shampoos and conditioners, and they all smell incredible. The process is super simple. Just take the 30 second quiz and Geology will send a personalized routine right to your door. And right now you can get 100% off your first order. Yes, that is a free trial of their award-winning skincare routine. All you need to pay is the $4.95 shipping. This is an amazing offer, plus they will give you an additional 50% off an extra product of your choice. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and use code CARLJOBS100. When Billy initially settled with Twin Galaxies back in January, I made a video titled, Billy Mitchell Lost His Lawsuit. I know a lot of people felt like this was cope, and I get it. Yes, Billy didn't officially lose, and we all know that if the case went to trial, Billy would have been destroyed. So he definitely dodged a bullet. But in my opinion, he still lost. I can assure you that he didn't spend five years suing Twin Galaxies just so that he could be part of some historical database, remain banned, and not even have Twin Galaxies make a retraction. It was a giant waste of time. In my opinion, Billy or his lawyers knew he had no chance of winning and they just wanted to get out of the lawsuit with something, anything, so they could try and claim it wasn't a total failure. That's why after the settlement, Billy immediately started lying as he normally does and tried to spin it as if he won. He claimed that all of his records were reinstated, which is not what happened. As we talked about in my last video, his scores went up to a historical database, a kind of way back machine that showed the ranks as they were in 2014 before the new owner Jace Hall bought Twin Galaxies. This historical rankings even still includes fraudsters like Todd Rogers. So if your scores go back up to the historical database, it really means absolutely nothing. Billy even got community noted on his Twitter post. And after getting destroyed in the replies, he set his Twitter back to private because his feelings got too hurt. Even though Billy was trying to say publicly he won, I knew there was no way he was actually happy with the result. And his recent filings seemed 
seem to show that I was right. Now a lot of these filings have been heavily redacted because the terms of the settlement are confidential, but I think we can still have a pretty good guess about what he's unhappy with based on what we can read. The motion itself is called a motion to enforce settlement, which means that Billy thinks Twin Galaxies didn't do what they said they would do in the settlement. The motion talks about the statement Twin Galaxies made on January 16, and says that the pertinent part is the sentence where Twin Galaxies says, Twin Galaxies shall heretofore reinstate all of Mr. Mitchell's scores as part of the official historical database on Twin Galaxies website. So we know it has something to do with his scores being reinstated. It then says that Twin Galaxies breached the settlement agreement because Jace Hall sent me an email. The email here is redacted for some reason, but I have the actual email and it just contained answers to these three questions. It says that Twin Galaxies hasn't changed its mind, Billy's scores aren't going up to the main leaderboards, and that Billy is still banned. Based on these answers, it appears as though Billy either thought his scores were going up to the main leaderboards, or he thought he was going to be unbanned, which of course didn't happen. I have no idea how Billy could be confused as to where his scores were going. I mean, he even reposted the statement saying they were just going up to a historical database. So if he was confused about this, he's just an idiot. I'm more leaning towards the idea that Billy hates the fact that Twin Galaxies said he was still banned, and maybe he thought the settlement included something saying that he wasn't banned. In any case, it seems like he is now crying to the judge, trying to get them to force Twin Galaxies to either put his scores back up to the main leaderboards, or to get him unbanned. He is such a sad, petty man that he just can't let this go. On one hand, it sucks that this guy is so obsessed and so pathetic that he wastes all of this time with legal action over video game high scores. But on the other hand, I am kind of glad that this train wreck continues to unfold, because life is just so much more interesting when Billy is making a fool out of himself. On top of this, he has come up with this crazy conspiracy theory that I'm in cahoots with Twin Galaxies and we are working together to destroy his reputation. They claim that my video came out too soon after the Twin Galaxies statement, and because it came out too soon, this means that Twin Galaxies and I were working together. Their evidence for this is that I was awake at 3.30 in the morning. Apparently I should have been asleep at this time, so the fact that I was still up proves that I was conspiring with Twin Galaxies. This is extremely funny if you know anything about my sleeping habits. Anyone who is in my Discord knows that I'm always staying up until ungodly hours. I mean, I'm a huge nerd, that's pretty much standard. It is true that my video came out pretty quickly after the Twin Galaxies statement, but that's because a lot of the video was already made before the statement even happened. I didn't know the specific details of the settlement beforehand, but if you really listen to what I said in the video, a lot of it was generic. We already knew they settled almost a full week earlier, and Billy's creep expert Michael Zyder was boasting on Facebook on the same day of the settlement about how his magical one-page report was the thing that made them settle. A report that he posted on his website website before the Twin Galaxies statement was made public. Of course, I figured a statement was going to be made after news of the settlement broke, so I did everything to ensure I was ready to release a video as soon as possible. I am the Billy Mitchell guy. I've been covering this story for years, so I pumped it out as quickly as I could. I've been making YouTube videos as my job for over half a decade, and it's hilarious that Billy Mitchell and his moron lawyer thinks they know more about making videos than me. But this is what they always do. They just make up some crazy fairy tale and then assert it to the judge like it has any merit, when almost all of the time it's just complete nonsense. They literally provide no evidence. They just assert that I can't make a video that quickly, and therefore it's a conspiracy. The motion reads, What is clear is that while negotiating settlement with plaintiff, defendant was secretly conspiring with Mr. Jobs to further damage plaintiff's reputation. As such, it is necessary for the court to order defendant to comply with the terms and conditions of the settlement agreement. I have no idea what they are going on about. Billy Mitchell is just a psycho, obsessed, washed up, cheating hack who gets triggered every time I release a video about him, and because he has the emotional maturity of a toddler, he always throws a tantrum by taking more legal action. The motion reads, As there is no way to claw back the breach, especially considering Twin Galaxies itself posted on its website, and Jobs' YouTube video already has 888,000 views as of March 7, 2024, the only remedy and cure is for the court to permit plaintiff to publish the language in the settlement agreement. Furthermore, defendant should be ordered to post a clarification as to its comment on its website under the public statement that makes it clear that XYZ. So Billy wants some of the settlement 
Parliament to go public. I assume because he feels like Twin Galaxies is lying in its public statements and Billy thinks the settlement terms will redeem him. It also asks the court to force Twin Galaxies to make another comment that clarifies the comment it made under its original statement. This comment is the exact same one as the email that Jay sent me. So Billy is asking Twin Galaxies to clarify something here. It's hard to imagine this clarification would relate to his high scores going up to the main leaderboards, because they didn't, and that's just a fact. There is no clarification needed. But if Billy believes he should have been unbanned, then the statement where Twin Galaxies said he was still banned is definitely something he could want Twin Galaxies to change or clarify. It's obviously a terrible look for Billy, and it completely destroys his narrative if he's still banned. And I'm sure that he would love to have Twin Galaxies publicly say that he was not banned, which he could then use used to argue that he never cheated in the first place. Billy is also crying because Twin Galaxies is selling merchandise that shows the difference between Arcade and MAME, which is just hilarious. And according to the motion, Billy paid $9,000 to submit this most recent action, which is again simply pathetic. Even if Billy wins, what does he think will happen? Does he expect the public to welcome him back with open arms just because a judge says that Twin Galaxies has to unban him and reinstate his scores? We all know for a fact he cheated. I don't see any future where any of this legal action ends up being worth it. And you best believe, if the judge comes back and says Billy is wrong, I'm just going to talk about him again and he's just going to end up looking even more like a tool. I really can't wait to see what the judge says. Thank you so much for watching you legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.